Good morning. My name is Maiden Pedro. I am one of the registered nurses working in this emergency department. How may I address you? Good morning, nurse. You can call me Camila. Hello, Camila. I am here to provide your child with insertion of the cannula for the administration of fluids intravenously. Before proceeding, may I know, do you have any questions to be clarified? Yes, I have a question for you. Yes, you may please proceed. Nurse, I don't understand why my daughter can't just have lots of drinks instead of having intravenous fluids. Your question is really appreciable. I can explain the reasons for your better understanding. All right, nurse. Your daughter has been brought to the emergency department with gastroenteritis and dehydration. With her present health condition, she is unable to tolerate fluids orally. Also, she requires faster and more effective rehydration. Okay. Thus, the best possible way is to provide fluids directly to the bloodstream. That is the reason why IV fluids are preferred over oral fluids. Is it clear to you, Camila? Yes, the reason for the cannula is clear now. But nurse, I am very much concerned that having the cannula inserted will be painful for my daughter. Being a mother, I can understand your concerns. Nevertheless, try not to worry. We will be taking measures for that before the procedure. So, your daughter won't be experiencing any pain. Oh, really? Yes. We will be applying a numbing cream ahead of the insertion. So that, the area will be numbed, and no pain will be felt by your daughter. That's good to hear. Also, Camila, this is a short procedure as well. Okay. And once the cannula is placed, no pain, or very minimal pain or discomfort will be experienced by her. After placing the cannula, we will be dressing it to keep the cannula in place. All right. Camila, I can reassure you that your daughter won't be in that pain. I understand that. Well, nurse, I would like to inform you that my daughter hates injections. So, you know, she's going to panic when she sees the needle. Thank you for the information, Camila. I will suggest to you some techniques for overcoming this situation. You may please. One of the strategies for managing your daughter's panic situation is by doing the procedures with the explanation of steps, so that she will be paying attention to the steps and not to the needle. Okay. Other being making her do deep breathing. That will also help to deviate her from the needle. Okay. Or else you can use any other ways, like. Telling her a story, talking to her, etc., to distract her during the procedure, so that she won't see the needle. All right, nurse. I will do that. That's perfect. I am relieved to hear that there are things that can be done to help my daughter stay calm. Now, Camila, I would like to outline the treatment procedures to you. Sure, nurse. I would like to hear that. I appreciate your willingness. We will be providing the first dose of intravenous fluids now. Okay. Following that, a reassessment will be done after four hours, which will tell us the possibility of further fluids. Am I clear to you? Yes, nurse. I am. All right. Well, Camila, if another dose is required, or if further assessment is needed, there is a possibility of an overnight stay in the hospital. Oh, I see. Camila. I would like to know whether your daughter has been in the hospital before. No. My daughter hasn't been in the hospital overnight before. Don't worry. If the child is admitted, she will be transferred to the ward from the emergency department. Okay. So that a parent can stay with her. How does that sound? It's good to hear that I can stay with my daughter even if she has to be admitted. Yes, exactly. So, Camila, can I have your consent for the cannula insertion for the IV fluids? Sure, you may proceed, nurse. Thank you for your consent, Camila. I wish your daughter a speedy recovery. Thank you. If you need any assistance, please feel free to press the bell on the right-hand side. We are here to help you. Sure. Thank you, nurse.